proverb says, you can't see the forest for the trees. It urges you to look at a bigger picture and do not be overwhelmed by the details, but concentrate on the broader situation. I would like to urge you to do the opposite, literally. When you walk through the forest, I want you to concentrate on the trees and the leaves and the branches and even the smaller elements. When you look at the circular process of a tree, the small leaves and branches, they start as small sprouts and growing up with vitality and break off in pieces and down to the ground and slowly transforms into soil. Watch the huge trees reaching for the sun and imagine the time, imagine the days and nights they have been through to grow this, to grow this high. Then you feel small, really small. And the surroundings are so vast and quiet. And just stay in that moment and imagine how the time has been running through this forest and you feel calm and humble. And if you look closer, you can look at the various colors of the different shapes and forms and plants. And if you watch even closer, you can see the rings in the trunks, the spots on the barks, the moss on the roots. You see the invisibles. Last summer, I walked together with my family from Oslo to Trondheim. That's 640 kilometers, and it took us 27 days. It was exhausting, but it was exciting at the same time. Through beautiful variation of nature, we walked among small rivers and the big Gudbrandsdal, and we climbed hills, and we saw the same colors over and over again, but in diverse tones and shapes. And we walked over the mountain of Dovre with almost no trees, but a lot of windy air. And the sound of the nature made us lose track of time. I collected some bits and pieces during this journey. 18 small different fragments of wood from different places along the way, from different kind of nature, and collected during different moods. And these were my gems, my treasure. Those were the bits that made me stop and reach out for them. Some of them were lying on the path, blended and covered with sand and stone. Some were inside an aged tree, hiding in a trunk and brushed by the weather. They were so tiny, yet so vivid to me, and each piece has this unique beauty that brought out my desire to connect with them. And I put them in a box and into my backpack, which already was quite heavy. All those fragments have one thing in common. They have been shaped by time. Time is an artist and nature is its material. This little piece was soaking wet when I found it. It has a quite sophisticated pattern with the variation in stripes. And it has been lying in the water for I don't know how long, but in the moment I saw it, I felt the urge to bring it out and give it new life. And what has happened here? This, you can see how the grains are twisted. Has it been squeezed or tortured or hurt? Or is it just dancing a pirouette? I don't know. It's a mystery. This is fungi that's parasiting on a dying tree. Through them, I see the contrast between death, life and death. And one's end becomes another one's beginning. And this little branch, it looked like a clutch. And it reached out to me as if it needed my embrace. And it was, it's fought for to be noticed and to be recognized. And when I pick up these fragments, I watch them closely, I smell them, and I touch them with my hands, and I connect with them. And I imagine their life story, 
and I imagine how they have been shaped by time, led by time, and eventually ended up in my hands. And I put them in my rucksack and I bring them home to my home or workshop and I gently put them on a table and just watch them for a while. And then I, I watch how time adds details in, in combination with the environment and their shape and their color change while they dry. And having these objects around me gives me energy. It's like I'm interacting with old friends, friends that I have memories of and love to share my space with. And every time I see them, they bring me back to the moment when we were connected. And they have an impact on, my, on the whole atmosphere in my workshop. As time goes by, things happening around us eventually or gradually become invisible to us. We often take things for granted and we forget the value. Time adds value to the materials. Values such as texture, colors, patina, taste, smell. They write a history of the materials. The materials are painted by weather, toned by oxidation and molded by the gravity over the time. And you can see how time has added details to the materials such as a little crack, a little wrinkle. Time is an artist and nature is its material. If time is an artist and nature is its material, then who am I? I am its curator. Sometimes the material are beautiful just the way they are. All I need to do is to lift them up and put them under a spotlight. and then the beauty will come off. We don't perceive all the shades of colors, and then therefore I have to amplify, lift and exaggerate some properties to make them seen. And, I, and to make both colors and <coughs> texture visible, I do mimesis. I often use clay, because clay is a material uh, capable of plastic deformation and have this great property to make prints. And I also combine materials such as wood and clay. And I, take, I dip the wood into clay. I make a mix of fiber and clay and a burned mix on 1,000 degrees. And then eventually the the wood burns up and, and gets into coal and breaks into fragments and the clay gets stronger. And in the end, the clay takes the shape of the branch and becomes an offset of the branch form. And in, in this time, they, they are still exist together, but not in their initial conditions. And sometimes I don't do anything extra. I just use the, the original cracks that appears while they dry, and I bring together new and old materials. And these materials collaborate and uh, interact and forms a new symbiosis. And this way, the, the objects that I collect coexist. So, Next time you're in the nature, please pay attention to the trees and the branches, the leaves, and even the smaller elements. Take a piece and smell it, feel it, touch it, and even listen to it. And you will see how time have added the beauty and the uniqueness of each piece. And salvage one piece, bring it home, and put it somewhere, you can watch it. And every time you pass that piece, that little specific piece will give you some good energy and remind you of the exact time you were connected with it. And the piece will tell you that time is an artist, nature is its material, and you can be its curator. Thank you. <laughs>